Biggest question, do you have your ticket? Because they will not let you in without your ticket. Okay, Mono, we got ticket. the ticket right there. Okay. <laughs> you forget your ticket. Oh, you're not getting in, bro. Hello and good morning everyone. Just got home from the gym. I have to tell you, this morning driving the kids to school, again, I had to take some friends' kids to school for them as well. I left really early and drove my kids to school. You guys, the roads were icy everywhere. There was ice everywhere. I slid through two stop signs. Thankfully, I left early enough that there wasn't like a ton of people outside. Oh my gosh, I slid through so many stop signs. Okay, just two. And then one of the stop signs that I went to go like accelerate and turn didn't go fast because I knew there was ice, so I was like barely stepping on the gas and I turned and slid slid and slid and then my tires finally caught and I was like gosh crew was making fun of me because I was like 10 and 2 hands on the steering wheel so intense we had a lot of like precipitation yesterday it was less snow and more like rainy snow or rain we had that all day long made it so there's black ice everywhere so I am so grateful we were safe the sun has come out so now it will all melt which makes me feel so much better about all the driving I have to do later on in the day we have a really fun day plan I actually have a really fun day plan I have an additional layer of fun Got it on top of mine. Stephanie and I have wanted to see Mean Girls. We thought, why not go to a midday movie? I came home, did all the dishes, going to go to a midday movie, and we're going to get one of my very favorite desserts, Blocks. They make dessert bars. They have a cake by Courtney's, one of her best desserts there. Stephanie's gonna go pick us up some Blocks. We're gonna get a big old tub of popcorn, and we're gonna just sit and munch and eat and watch Mean Girls. That will be fun. I heard it's a musical. It's not just like a movie. I mean, it's a movie, but it's more of a musical. I'm interested to see that. That'll be a lot of fun. Today, after kids get home from school, we're gonna get all cleaned up, get all ready. Kids are going to the jazz game with their cousins and Mana Joe, Sean, but also their basketball team will be there. So they're going to go see friends, hang out with Mana Joe. I get to go. You guys, my girlfriend got us tickets on the floor. We get to go have dinner beforehand, treats during halftime. We are going to be treated very well and I'm very grateful. So we got matching sweatshirts. Whole day is going to be really awesome. It has started out super great. It's grateful to go to the gym, grateful to move my body. The sun is shining. Everything feels like going well so far. Look at how beautiful it is out there. a little bit ready. Whoa, it is really bright outside. I just did some B-roll of the backyard in the pool. I swear we have a pool. Here's the thing. Whatever is on top of the pool is not melting like it did last year. We heated the pool last year, kept the water really warm, so anything that touched the pool cover would just melt. And this year, it is just staying frozen right on top. Can't even shoot the water off of the pool cover because everything is just so frozen. I'm really hoping with this sunshine coming out today that it's gonna melt quite a bit. Please. So snowing. Got all dressed in sweats today and my cozy slippers because I'm going to a movie in the middle of the day. I'm gonna eat some popcorn, have some treats. It's gonna be an awesome start to the day. Brandon has been working and working and working and working so hard. On the year end video, he is hoping to put that out on Sunday. So you guys turn on your notifications, give this video a thumbs up, watch out for that year end video because it's gonna be pretty epic. He's been working so hard. I've been doing like double duty, picking kids up from school. It's normally something he does so that he can just basically sit in his office 24 seven and grind really hard to get that video finished. When you have to go through basically an entire year's worth of videos when we upload almost every single day, except for Sundays, really challenging to pull all the epic moments that happen throughout the years. He's working really hard. Working hard or hardly working? <laughs> I think we're the only people coming to a movie today. There's nobody here. Oh, there's one other person. <laughs> Moment of truth. Are we the only ones? Yeah. <laughs> This is the IMAX, right? It's gotta be. This is the one where you have to turn your whole head to see the whole screen. Wow. I've never been the only one in a theater. We can cheer if we want to. I might be on to something here. I think a midday movie needs to become a regular thing. That was really fun. Stephanie and I were the only people in the whole theater and then randomly an old guy came in. <laughs> It was kind of funny. Mean Girls, it was it was good, I'll say that. I am not gonna like watch it again. It was a little bit more on the PG-13 side than I wanted it to be. It was a fun little afternoon. We ate a whole tub of popcorn. I had a favorite dessert bar, so it was really fun. Miss Hazy, how was your day at school today? So good. Are you gonna have a special night with dad tonight? Well, you have tons of food in your mouth. I'll mm -hmm. let you finish. I learned cursive today. She learned cursive. She's been doing cursive and 
doing so good. I came home and got ready. The girls that I'm going with, we all bought these matching sweatshirts and they're super cute. Had to rewash my hair because I had like a really funny bump in the back from my ponytail when I worked out today. And I burned my neck with my curling iron. I haven't done that in like a hundred years. It was awful. It just burns. Kids are getting changed. They want to match their cousins. They are going to wear the shirts that their cousins gave them. It looks super awesome. We're all getting ready to head off to the game. Game time and the big debate, mom, with any real athlete is what shoes to wear to the game. You know what I mean? I'm at a crossroads because- We're, we're coming to the shoe palace in here Welcome. and you've got a few good selections, but there are two that are really at the top of the list right now and we're just trying to decide what's the best one for game day. What is the best one? Like now, my Gucci shoes? Keep in mind, mom. Or this is not just. Ducks game day, those shoes will be on the floor. They'll be on the court, I know. right? Are you guys floor seats? Like we have like the whole dinner beforehand treats at half show, Whoa. Or half time, and half show. Half show. <laughs> no, they have a show. I also love sweatshirt. You guys are all wearing matching sweatshirts. All the moms bought matching sweatshirts. Let me tell you, I thought originally that for sure the gold Nike bling would be the way to go on game day. I thought it'd be kind of fun to have Gucci shoes touching the court, but now that you put it on, the ensemble, I think goes a lot better with the Gucci. What do you think? I kind of like the Gucci more. I, I think, think Nike, gonna... obviously athletic, the gold kind of blingy. That's what I'm going to do. So you're going Gucci. Oh my gosh, Here's Mindy, the thing. first this time. This is my first time wearing them. What if they hurt? Well, the good news is you're sitting the whole time, so you really don't have to Well, worry. and we have like <laughs> underground parking like right underneath the How Delta you guys Center. Get all this stuff? You know, I know people. The pants are also really tight. We have like parking right underneath. We'll walk right to our seats. That's going to be awesome. Like climb 150,000 stairs. We want to go get anything. Just hoping they have a diet, Dr. Pepper. We got Uncle Sean in the house. He is braving yeah. the night tonight, taking all these kids, all the cousins to a jazz game. Bro, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm Crew, so promise everybody I'd show the fit, the drip. Look at this, we got the Jordan 4s all the way down. Camo, looking good, brand new hat. Hey, biggest question, do you have your ticket? They will not let you in without your ticket. Okay, Lana, <laughs> we got ticket. the ticket right there. Okay, you can get in with that ticket right there. Oh, shoot. Forgot, you forget your ticket. Oh, you're not getting in, bro. <laughs> thank you, thank you, we love you. Merry Christmas, bye, I love you. Go jazz. That means just me and Hazy tonight. Mom is at the yes. game, the boys just left for the game, so it's just me and Hazy tonight hanging out. I cannot wait, we're gonna watch a movie, snuggle, have some snacks. No, we're just gonna have a great time, just the two of us. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to see what the kids do, what mom does at the jazz game, what they get up to, what they eat, the game goes, all that stuff. We're so excited they get to go do that. But we have honestly, you wanna know the truth? We've been counting down till this night because we get a little just me and Hazy time. Oh yeah! <laughs> While mom is being wined and dined at the exclusive VIP Jazz Club just before the game, and the boys eating some fun snacks, concessions, I'm sure. Hazy and I ordered up some DoorDash. I asked Hazy, what do you want? You get to choose. There is nobody else that gets to vote. No brothers have a say. It is just me and you. And she said she wanted a sandwich tonight. So, so we picked Jersey Mike's. So we went with Jersey Mike's, and Hazy has a special that she loves there. It's mm. just turkey, mayo, and bacon. Extra bacon. Extra bacon. It is bacony bacon. And I do love mayonnaise. You should do go with extra. I don't think when you DoorDash, I don't think you're going to do extra mayonnaise. I went with with original Italian, just loads of Italian meats, delicious. We grabbed some Doritos, drinks, we're watching the new Trolls movie. Gonna start it here, probably finish in the theater. Wanna finish this in the theater? Mm -hmm. After we eat our dinner, okay. So far, our night is going exactly according to plan. What? Look who I found! You having fun? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> Rexy, do you having fun? Yeah. This is so special. Is awesome. What game are you going to play? I'm Ooh, actually that's pretty hard to keep it going for that long. That's actually very impressive. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
We're gonna finish up Trolls down here in the theater. Just Hayes and I, we've been having so much fun just being silly and loud and all the things that we can be when it's just me and she. <laughs> I don't know if that works, but it rhymed. Anyways, we actually just got a text from Stephanie Ravelli who was watching the Jazz game. She sent us a screenshot. For some reason, we don't have the game. I can't watch it since it's blocked by NBA League Pass. I don't have NBA League Pass. I'm guessing they do. So I can't actually watch the Jazz game that everyone is at tonight because I did want to watch it to see if I could see anybody. Well, sure enough, mom is literally an extension of the Utah Jazz bench and Stephanie sent us a picture that every single time the ball is on whatever side of the court mom's on, camera angle actually shows mom right behind the player's head, clear as day, sitting right there front row. Stephanie actually happened to nab a picture of her. Funny enough, mom is going to be on camera every single time the ball comes to that side of the court because she is right on the floor as an extension of the Jazz bench. In fact, she sent me a picture of two Jazz players who don't fit on the bench have come over and they're sitting right by her feet. So mom has got some great seats. And also, I saw the player's face like. <laughs> <laughs> like, why is that lady on her phone? Anyways, we have got some great seats to the Trolls premiere right here in the TIHWB Cinema. In fact, Hazel Girl, we got better than front row. We got floor seats, baby, because we're on the floor on the crash pads. Finish up this oh. movie. And we got candy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's just ice cream. <laughs> I'm gonna need copies of that pick. Hope they get a touchdown. <laughs> okay, guys, we're at the game. This is crazy. It's 115 to 104. Jazz down. There's eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. I think we got this. We got this, right? We got this. Nope. They are back in the house. All of them, we got everybody back home. It is crazy late. It is, actually, it's late, but it's earlier than I thought it was gonna be, oh, so I'm thought it'd be later than 11. Really, That's good. I really did. Tonight was amazing. You know, I had a good time. I constantly was checking in with the kids. They had an amazing time. I mean, time. I can't wait to see the footage because I just was getting texts and screenshots and video clips from everybody. You guys were on the Jumbotron. They were on the Jumbotron. They could see you, you could see them. It looked like it was an absolute blast. And it how funny so cool. that you guys weren't even supposed to be at the same game. It just I know. happened to be that way. And you had quite a day, movie, jazz yeah. game. I mean, I mean, it's been it like a, a really full day of fun for you. Day. Got to come home with this cool little thing. I was part of a cool club tonight. It's like the one time it'll ever happen. But That is awesome. It was cool, yeah. Came home with lots of treats. Kids had such a great time. Just talking about how much fun they had with their cousins. Yes, that was Taking bets with Uncle Sean. From Mona Joe, Uncle Sean. Took them together. Such a cool thing. You guys, the best is yet to come because it is the weekend tomorrow. I keep forgetting that. I'm so messed up on my days. Such a great day today. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thanks for being here. Thanks for loving our family. See you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs> it's really hard. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, actually, that's pretty hard to keep it going for that long. That's actually very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> like, good. Working hard or hardly working.